I'm at a laundromat. I learned how to use a laundromat today. My basement is currently flooded and we are waiting for our landlord to send a maintenance guy. So I was running out of clothes. So I had to come and use a laundromat. Yep, I love paying to use the laundry when I shouldn't have to because our basement shouldn't be flooded. What's up? It's Zoe from ZA Reptiles and for today's video we are doing another shopping for my iguana video. Last time I went to Tops, this time I'll be going to Wegmans and showing you what they have there. Um, Wegmans is by far one of the best places you can go to shop for your iguanas. They have literally everything. It is crazy. Um, it's also crazy busy in there. So I'll be filming with my phone when I go in. So hopefully the quality turns out okay. And just like last time, I will be doing a haul afterwards to show you guys what I bought and how much it was and the nutritional content of it. Of flowers because they were just so tropical and six dollars treat yourself ladies treat yourself all right I am back and we're gonna do this haul now all right so first thing is parsnip if you guys watched my feeding my iguana video I think it was like my second YouTube video then you would have seen that I gave Arcadia's parsnip and parsnip is a staple veggie it is a good source of carbs and fiber it is one to two on the calcium to phosphorus ratio, but it's a good source of fiber and carbs. So the parsnip came to 111. All right, so up next are dandelion greens. These are dandelion greens, and they are another staple green. They are a very, very good source of calcium. They are 2.8 to one on the calcium to phosphorus ratio, so really good. Bones can eat dandelion flowers and the greens. So I'll pick flowers from outside, but I'll buy greens from the store usually because they're just bigger than the ones that I'll find in my yard. Dandelions, flowers, and greens are one of Arcadius' favorites. So I got these today to treat him with. Alright, up next are my favorites, as you guys know, collard greens. And these collard greens are actually dripping everywhere right now, which I don't really understand. Oh, because there's a hole in the bag. How fun. Okay, the bird's going to put these back in. So, collard greens are, like, probably the highest source of calcium you can get in a green for an iguana. They are 14.5 to 1 on the calcium to phosphorus ratio. So, they are, like, amazing for them. And just like most greens, they are about 90% water. So, greens are also a good source of water for your iguanas. So yeah, collard greens are probably the best green that you could give your iguana. So I got those and I got the dandelion greens and I'll mix them together for a nice little variety. So the dandelion greens came out to be $2.99. Collard greens came out to be $2.99. So both greens were $2.99. So for a veggie, besides the parsnip, I got a green pepper. Um, I eat these a little bit too, so it usually helps get through it. Uh, if I do like omelets or something. So green iguanas can eat any kind of bell pepper. They can eat red, yellow, orange, whatever other colors, if there's any other colors. Um, but I only eat the green ones, so it's just easier for me to get just the green. 
Um, but it is a good way to add color to your iguana salad. But like I said, I only eat the green ones. So it'd be kind of a waste if I got the other ones because I ended up having to throw them away before he ate them all. So there isn't too much nutrition when it comes to a bell pepper. They're about 0.5 to 1 on the calcium to phosphorus ratio. And they're not really, there's not much to them. But they are a good way of enhancing color. And they taste really good to the iguanas. So it's a taste enhancer and a color enhancer. So for this pepper, I paid 82 cents. So up next, you guys know I love to give Arcadius mangoes, and he loves them. They're iguana crack. Um, today I actually went a little different. I didn't get just your normal mango. I got a golden mango. Um, they were on sale. It was four for five dollars, so I actually got four of them. Um, so I'm hoping I get through them before they go bad. But like I said, I like to buy foods that I like too, because then, you know, I'll eat them and he'll eat them and they won't go bad and I'll be throwing anything away. So mangoes are one of the few fruits that are considered a staple fruit. Um, also papaya is considered a staple fruit. So the mangoes are 0.9 to 1 on the calcium to phosphorus ratio. So they're pretty close to 1 to 1. Um, so yeah, like any kind of mango you can feed your bonus. So I got golden mangoes and like I said it was 4 for $5. So finally I got 2 pounds of strawberries. I really like strawberries and it's summer so I feel like I should be able to get through these pretty quickly. They were kind of a good deal I think. They were $3.99 for two pounds of strawberries. So I decided why not. I could use some fruit trying to be healthy. So strawberries are considered an occasional fruit or a treat. They're not that great. But they are yummy, and they're, like the peppers, a good color enhancer. But they are high in oxalates and glycogens, so needless to say, this will be what I give him. Like, when he poops, it'll be a reward. So that is all the iguana food I bought today from Wegmans. Um, overall, let's see. So overall, I spent about $13 on iguana food. Um, but it's not too bad considering some of that was for me as well. So I got two greens two different veggies and two different kinds of fruits um, and I mean the pepper was partially for me the strawberries were mostly for me and the mangoes were like half for me so for $13 did pretty well so we'll see how long this lasts me I'm thinking it might last me depending on how long the greens last just over a week maybe two weeks week and a half so we'll see how long it lasts and as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like this video if you learned something about iguana food or if you like Wegmans. I mean, apparently everyone loves Wegmans, so you know, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any more videos. And we'll see you next time.